Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and we're at it today with Gunslinger Prison Hell on Earth. Mmm, I love how fast I am. So good. Prison's a nice map, too. It's uh, got some good kiting opportunities around here, and then kind of like through that area. It's not too bad for kiting. It's a pretty, pretty good map. I'm into it. Got a nice camping map, uh, camp spot up on the tower as well, so that's uh, always nice if you wanted to camp uh, the one spot and have just the one lane to defend. Could be kind of fun at times. Right? Probably. If you had like a whole team there, I mean, it'd be pretty cool. You got like a bunch of demos and support and whatnot. Just absolutely annihilating everything that funnels into that one little lane. I like using prison as kind of this uh, little like mini arena type area out here. I find it good fun. I find it good fun. Let's see, what do we got to talk about? My grandparents are moving. You know, my uh, my grandmother is. She's. Well, she's old and, and senile and you know dementia and all that, right? Uh, my grandfather is uh, wanting to move out somewhere a little bit closer to family because right now he lives more downtown area and all of us family live a little bit out of town so uh, he's moving a little bit closer to us uh, is my understanding of it anyway I don't know the whole story behind it exactly because I haven't been able to speak to them in a while because of the whole COVID thing um, so I only get I only get some some passing knowledge about it right but they're they're moving out here somewhere and uh, it's kind of I mean, on, on the one hand, it's nice because they're going to be closer, right? I think my grandmother's going into a home out here. Maybe, I'm not sure the whole story about that. But, you know, they're, regardless, they're, they're going to be closer to where, to where I am now. Like, it costs me to go visit them in my car. It costs probably like 10 bucks in, in gas. Right? Like, it's, it's not... They're not very close like they're not that far away it's like a 40 minute drive or something but the thing is you know I have to start up my car get it running get it warmed up it's, it's an expensive journey to go visit them I can't walk they're they're outside walking distance uh, which is what I like doing for for things that aren't like my job um, but I can't walk so I have to drive and that's that's just an expensive thing to do so um, hello so, uh, you know, on that, on that hand, on, the, on that kind of uh, side of things, it's nice that they're going to be closer. You know, I can't deny that. But, the other hand is, like, that means that they're selling that house, right? Like, that's the house that my grandparents have always owned. That's That's been their house for as long as I can remember, you know? When I was going over to, to my... Uh, my Vu and Favo's house. That was. It was. Uh, it was always that house. You know, I can remember it very clearly. And uh, now, I, you know, now they're they're selling it, and I'm like, I'm never gonna be able to go there again. You know. I mean, I'm sure if I went there, and I was like, hey, you know, this is my 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 grandparents' house. You know, do you mind if I just like went and checked out the backyard for a bit in like I don't know, 20 years or something like that to. For something like I'm sure that they'd probably be like yeah sure you know um so it's not like I'll, I'll never be able to go but like I'll probably just never do that right like I I'd, I'd be able to but I that's not something I would do so I wouldn't want to bother them and like they'd probably say okay sure but like they wouldn't be happy about it right probably I mean I don't know maybe what do I know right my voice is probably sounding a bit off right now it definitely feels off right now One of the things I did when I took that break before the last episode, before recording the last episode, was I uh, I had a bit of lunch and grabbed a couple of uh, of chips to munch on, and I think that it's kind of like drying out my throat a little bit because it's making it 
It's making it a little bit uncomfortable to talk, and I think it's affecting the sound of my voice as well. It's making it a little bit more raspy, and um, that's not where I want to be. Thing up here though, yeah. It's just uh, all in all, not so great. Not not such a great idea to have done. Bad bad job, me. I don't like this spot. Um, we'll camp it a little bit for now, but like I do not like this spot. Honestly, this is this is as much of the camping as we are gonna do here. I don't like this spot at all. Super not so good. I'll go this way. Don't get stuck in the stupid little bathroom again. Done that way too many times to be reasonable, honestly. Oh dear god. Why do you have to spawn right there? Like, come on, man. It's not cool. That's not cool, bro. Wait, I no, I do not have the uh, the nine mil or the um the Glock. Does it shoot nine mil ammo? I don't even know. Probably does, right? No, probably doesn't, right? I have no idea what guns shoot what bullets. Well, like, I feel like you wouldn't want to have too many different types of bullets, like different sizes of bullets, right? Just just from a manufacturing perspective, like, it just seems inefficient, right? <laughs> Get dusted! Wow. <laughs> I did see a scrape somewhere around here. Yeah, right there. You're okay. You're okay. You'll survive for now. Actually, no, you won't. Mistake! Mistakes were made. Should not have attacked the Skrig that early. That was the wrong thing to do. I understand this now. I've learned. I've reflected on my actions. Another thing that I want to make, but I'm not sure the, the legality of it, is a manga reader. Because I used to, I used to read on a, a certain app that's now no longer available. I do also, for for the record, I I own quite a lot of physical manga. So that I pirate manga occasionally, often. I'm I'm I, I feel morally morally just in. Uh, I buy I buy when I can. Okay, if I can't, I can't. Okay, that's that's my that's my perspective. Anyway, I was reading on Manga Rock. And they recently, they didn't shut down, but like, they don't really operate anymore. They're making like a new legal thing, um, which I'm in favor of. Like, if it's good, I will happily support that. But um, so far, it doesn't really look like they have too big of a library, which is uh, a little bit disappointing. So I've been wanting to make my own for reading manga but I'm not sure the legality of it so what I would have to do I think to make it legal is not actually host any of the files and just use it as like a, an aggregate of uh, of, uh, of the other sites that are hosting it but I'm not sure if that would also be legal or not so it's something that I want to do but if I ever did do it I probably wouldn't make it public like it would be a private thing right just a private app that I put on my phone um, because it's it's super annoying to to want to read manga and then not be able to, you know. Like if there are a way to get like manga in Canada, then like I would happily do that. Like if I could get like a subscription to something or whatever that give me like properly translated manga of the type that I like and decent quality, consistent, you know, happily pay for that. Dude, you just can't. That's not a thing that exists here, right? No matter how much you would be willing to or wouldn't be willing to um, pay for it, you don't have that option for, for the most part. Which is uh, unfortunate because um, it means that there's a... Why are you so small, dude? It means that there's a lot of piracy that goes rampant in it. And then, like, I mean, it kind of just contributes to the whole thing, right? Like, they don't get sales. They can't have the money to expand to other places. And then they're getting less sales, and so on and so forth, right? But, I mean, really, if I can't buy it, I can't buy it. Anyway, 
I want to make that, but I'm not sure the legality of it, so I haven't done it. I'm not sure I ever will, but that's that's it's just, it seems like a fun project, right? To make a manga reader. It just seems like fun. I mean, I, th I find, like, most things fun. I'm very easy to please. You know? I don't, uh... I don't take much to, to be made happy. I swear, you know, my, uh... Future boyfriends are gonna be very, very happy. <laughs> it doesn't take much for me to be like, Wow, that was really nice. Um, where's the cloaker? I don't know which one I was talking about, but I got them both, so, uh, get dusted. This map's really dark. I wish there were more bright maps. But, like, the thing is, they're, they're, I don't want to just play those same bright maps over and over. Like, if it were just me, if I were just playing me, like, I'd happily play Steam Fortress over and over again. Because it's nice and bright. Steam Fortress, Airship, um, yeah, they're nice and bright, you can see things clearly, it's nice, right? Whereas, you got, like, prison over here, it's dark, it's all dark and gloomy and gross and stuff, you know? And, uh, I'm just like, I want more, more bright maps, I might try downloading some, uh, some bright versions of maps. Okay, we just got the Scrakes left. I tried downloading some bright versions. Because I know you can get, like, bright burning Paris daytime and whatnot. There might be, like, daytime versions for other ones. Or I can make them myself anyway. I don't imagine it's that hard to just go in and, like, change the the global lighting level, right? Because that's probably what it is, right? Is there's just the global lighting and then um, specific light sources. Like, there's a light source there, right? But... This is probably lit by just global lighting, is my guess. So you just go and change the, the global lighting, change the skybox, and bippity boppity, right? Nice and easy. Maybe it's change the sunlight. Maybe it's a, a light source up there that's being calculated. I have absolutely no idea how it works. I've never even looked at the map to, like, a creator thingy yet, right? So I have, I have no idea. But, um... I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll try making my own light versions of maps to play because I like the light mer versions more. I like brighter maps, nice bright visible stuff, right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven episodes. This is the eleventh episode. Cool. I have no idea what episode that actually makes it total, but eleventh episode this week. You're like right there, eh? Oh, you're like right here, my goodness! <laughs> Let's see if we can actually kill this guy this time, you know, not get overwhelmed by these poops. That was the, the problem we had last time we fought this guy, right? Was uh, all the poops kind of overrunning me. Couldn't handle them all. We are in the bathroom, but the bathroom ain't that bad for abomination fight. Really? It's bad in the other ones, because you get spawns everywhere, right? Whereas in the abomination fight, you want to uh, take like the longest route you can so you don't have to backtrack over all of the, uh, the like, poops and stuff, right? You want to continue moving away from him consistently. And there aren't too many spawns besides the poops which are coming kind of like directly at you, right? It's kind of not that bad. What on earth? Where where are you, buddy? Buddy. Where where is he? Where is he? I can't even see him. Why are you up there? What? Why did you go way why? Why? Oh, we're going to get overwhelmed again real quick here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the overwhelms. He just had a lot of time there to lay some poops everywhere. 
And that's, uh, that's a no good. This isn't where I want to be at all. But I can kite him around here. Maybe make it out. Possibly. Okay, we, dro we dropped his armor. Let's see if we can just destroy some of those poops, you know? Seems like we might get a win here, though, at least. Which is good, because I, I definitely wanted to win. But, man, I have no idea why he just ditched all of a sudden. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. But, hey, there we go, I guess. There's a, there's a win. The Glock, yet again. I love this weapon, man. Such a good weapon. Love it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.